Hi, my name is Diane and I'm a project manager with the Pacific Center for Isotopic and Geochemical Research. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of our newest facility, NewBC, which officially opened at the end of 2013. Our mission here at PCIGR is to foster innovation and collaboration in the earth, ocean, atmospheric, biological and environmental sciences. So we're here at the entrance to NewBC. Now this facility is classified as a clean room, which means that it has specialized HEPA filters and air handling systems designed to reduce contamination. We're also going to have to follow a very strict gowning procedure before we go in the labs, and that's designed to reduce any contamination that is brought in by people. And the result of that is that the air inside the lab is up to 10,000 times cleaner than the air we're breathing right now. PCIGR is equipped with 13 mass spectrometers, five of which are located in this facility, like the one you see behind me. These instruments can accurately and precisely measure almost every element in the periodic table, down to the part per trillion level, which is equivalent to one drop of water in 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And we can measure this in very small samples, down to a billionth of a gram. This particular mass spectrometer is very unique because it's the first of its kind in Canada. And because of its large size and specialized components, we're able to measure isotopes of elements like iron at high resolution, which would be very challenging otherwise. Diluted liquid samples are put into the plasma, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. The ions then travel down through the instrument where they are curved by electric and magnetic fields. The ions then continue all the way to the end of the instrument where they are individually counted by the detectors. The results we get are like a fingerprint, which can tell us where the sample came from and what processes it has undergone. One recent example investigated the source of cadmium in oysters off of the BC coast. The concentrations of cadmium were actually so high that it was preventing export to large foreign markets. And what we found was that the high concentrations of cadmium were due to natural upwelling off of the coast, whereas in some oysters in France, the high concentrations were due to contamination caused by human activities. Looking ahead, our goal is to push the boundaries of research in geochemistry. One of the ways we're going to do that is by training the next generation of scientists through national research and training programs and student internships. We're also looking forward to continuing our recent work with nonprofit organizations and expanding our mandate to include medical applications, where isotopic fingerprinting can be a powerful tool to track and quantify exchanges within our own bodies.